You brought me the mower, what's the problem? What happened? It just quit on me. When I tried to start it again, it wouldn't start. If you're out cutting grass and you get stuck sometime, it takes three things for an engine to run. It has to have fuel, it has to have spark, and it has to have air. We'll look at it and see what's wrong. This is the air filter here. I don't think that's going to fix your problem. You better check and see if that engine has spark. Because we don't have any spark, I'm gonna pull this cover off. I'm gonna test the coil because we're having trouble with spark, and I can see that this wire was pinched here too. I don't know if you can see that. But that might have pinched enough that it caused a short and broke the windings in there. Anyways, I've got an ohm meter here and I set it to 20k and I should get a reading between 2,500 and 5,000 on a little Briggs and Stratton coil. You take the positive and you touch it where the spark plug goes in there and you touch the negative to the body of the coil and I get nothing. So I think this coil's bad. Let's change it out and see if that'll fix it. There's the kill switch at the bottom. Here's the bad one. And this wire was pinched in the cover. There's a little groove that this wire needs to come through. And it was pinched in the cover. So I actually, I've made this work by twisting it a little bit. But that's no good. This wire here is bad. And I'll show you the test on it. Positive in the plug. It may or may not work, depending on how I have it bent. Well, that one worked. But if I twist it another way, see it doesn't work. So that it's a bad wire here. All right, I picked up a coil off another throwaway lawnmower, and I'm going to show you this new coil, how it tests out. Touch the positive lead where the spark plug goes, and the negative to the base of the coil, and it's testing. 2.86 on these little Briggs engines they should be between 
2.5 and 5. So that's 2,500, that's 2,860 ohms there. We'll also test it to the kill switch. So touch the positive to the spark plug wire and the negative to the kill lead and 2,860 ohms. So this coil's good and the other one was bad. I took the cover off the old one and I'll put it on this one we're going to use. It just slides in. Keeps it insulated from grounding out. And there we go. All set. Now that we've got a good coil, we can install it. The first thing you want to do is plug the kill wire into the new coil. And then set this up where the two screws are and put the set screws in. Don't tighten it down yet because we've got to gap that. And we use just a plain business card to create the gap between the flywheel and the coil. So we'll just slide this in here. I'll remove this so you can see it. That just slides in here like that. We're going to push that up tight against it, tighten these down, pull the card out, and our gap is set. <clears throat> then it's just a matter of, I like to press on the back of the magneto to hold that card in place. The magnet's over here. I don't set it when the magnet's there because it sticks in so much. But the magnet's over here, so I'll just push on the back side, snug these two screws down. That'll hold it in place. Now I just take my ratchet and tighten it down. And of course, these are set in aluminum studs, so you don't want to go crazy cranking these down or you'll bust the aluminum. But just snug them up good. And then pull the card out. And your gap is set. The other wire that was here, there's a little groove here. A little indentation. The other wire was here, not in the groove. And it cut the wire. And that's why it quit working. So when you put the cover on, you want to make sure you get this in that groove. I ended up, it's, this might look a little different to you, I switched the cover with the scrap mower. This was the one that was on there, and the rope's all messed up. So I decided to put this on. It's got a new rope on it. And we just need to put the bolts back in for the cover. You made quick work of that. Alright, uh... Give it a try.
And now you can do that test. If you have a problem with your mower, you'll know how to test the coil, change out the coil, take it apart, put it together, and you'll be all set. If this video is a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.